A friend called me trying to borrow some body wash and uh, milk. She said her kids didn't have milk to eat cereal and she ran out of body wash. So I asked her, I said, do you have laundry soap or dishes soap? She said, yes, but they're not body wash though. What are you trying to say? I said, you can improvise. You can use either the dishes soap or the laundry soap and take a shower. She goes, uh-uh, that's too much harsh chemicals in there. You want us to, uh, to you, you, you want our skin to start peeling off? I said, listen, take the laundry soap to kind of, <clears throat> to kind of lighten up the chemical in it. You can either mix it with a little bit of milk. You know how we take the dishes soap when it's almost finished, we mix it with the water just to, you know, extend the amount that's left so we can have, we can wash, you know, four or five more sink load of dishes with it. I said the same thing you do with the dishes soap. Do it with the laundry soap or the dishes soap. This time just add a little bit of milkshake it and then she says, she, then she goes, nah, 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 thanks, but no. I said, okay, well, maybe if you have lime or lemon, you can cut it up and all of y'all can clean under your armpits with it and then rinse off. Then she says, so what are we going to do with our cracks and, and, and pelvic? I said, well, you probably can take a, <clears throat> a bucket of water, you know, just a little bit. Just put some warm water, a little bit of warm water in the bucket. Dump two to three tablespoons of baking soda there. I said, I know you have baking soda. Don't tell me you have baking soda. She said, yes, I do. I said, put some baking soda in that warm water. Mix it up. Take a washcloth. Just wash between there in the back and the front. You know, dip it in the water, wash, dip it in the water, wash. When you get done, you rinse. She said, you ever done this before? I said, I, I, haven't, I haven't ran out of, you know, body wash to have to do that. Every time Every time I, I'm, I'm about to run out, I'll go get body wash. I don't know why you're sitting there running out of stuff. She said, how about the milk? You got milk? Can you bring us some milk? I said, no, I'm not getting in this cold to go break any milk for you. But I can tell you how you can improvise, though. She said, what? Don't come tell me nothing crazy here. I said, uh, -uh. let me tell you. I said, you got white rice at home? She said, yes. She said, wait, how am I going to how am I gonna get milk out of white rice? I said, wait, let me finish educating you on how to make, make your own milk from white rice. She said, okay. I said, take some white rice, put it in a bowl and soak it. Make sure it's hot water. Soak it in hot water for 30 minutes. When you're done... Put some more water in it and rinse it out because you want to get the first dirty, you know, the, the first water out. Now, when you're done, you take your blender, put some rice in the blender and put enough water in it, like warm water. Put enough warm water in it. And then before you turn the blender on, you want to add some sugar. Add some sugar and a little dab of salt and just run that blender it's better to do it with a, a magic bullet or something, or, or the ninja thing. It's better to do it because it's going to blend it and make it so creamy, almost like milk. So if you use, if you have a magic bullet, you can do that. She said, are you serious right now? I said, I'm serious. If you do it with your magic bullet, it's going to taste just like milk. It's, it's going to taste just like milk. You would thank me later. Just blend it, put it, put it in that magic magic bullet, and blend it. When you're done, strain it and pour it on your cereal. It would taste just like milk. She said, she said, oh, yeah, this this is crazy. I said, no, you're gonna have to try. I said, she said that sounds so nasty though. I said, well, it's either you you eat the cereal dry or eat it with water or improvise and make your own milk out of the white rice. I, I, I'm not coming anywhere. She said, well, can I come and get it? I said, uh-uh, it's not enough to share with you. I'm sorry. It's cold. You can't come empty my house, and then I have to get out in the cold to go grocery shopping. It's a lot of pain and suffering in getting out in this cold and going to grocery shopping. And when you touch the cart, the cart is cold. You know, you come outside trying to put stuff in the trunk, your fingers freezing. I mean, like, you get frostbite trying to grocery shopping. I said, no, girl. Nah, 
Mm-mm. Why don't you go to the store when you when you get when you go into the store? Come here. I need something. You can go. She said, I don't have anything to get. I said, Well, just do what I told you to do. That's it. 